There has been no shortage of billionaires in space this past year, with Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson both making the cosmic trip into low Earth orbit within days of each other. And while it is common knowledge that these billionaires have made the trips in a bid to promote the space tourism capabilities of their companies, there is about to be another billionaire in space with more than just space flight ambitions. Today on Super Freaky Science, we'll be looking at the Inspiration4 mission and billionaires with an actual purpose. Bezos and Branson's Space Tourism Flights Space flights has been all the rage in 2021, and billionaires have been hopping on these flights with nothing more but profit and glory in mind. Billionaire Sir Richard Branson made the daring trip to space earlier this year on July 11th, on board the company's flagship, the VSS Unity. The VSS Unity was carried to a height of 64,000 feet by the company's dual fuselage jet and VMS Eve before it was released to begin its flight to low Earth orbit. The rocket soared at supersonic speeds upwards into the cold reaches of space, attaining a height of over 86 kilometers before the crew began their weightlessness tour. Among Branson's space travel team were five other Virgin Galactic employees, and together they all experienced about five minutes of weightlessness flight before beginning the trip back down to Earth. After these breathtaking moments, the rocket glided down on its wings back to the launch station where where a host of people were waiting to celebrate the first ever crewed flight performed by Virgin Galactic. Jeff Bezos is never one to take a challenge lying down, which is why it is little wonder that he made his very own flight to space barely nine days after Branson touched down. Bezos' flight crew weren't just employees of the company like Branson's flight crew members. In fact, unlike Team Branson, Team Bezos had a diverse mix of experience, youth and money. The crew included the oldest person ever to reach space, 82-year-old space veteran Wally Funk, the youngest person to ever reach space, 18-year-old student Oliver Deanman, and Jeff Bezos' brother, Mark Bezos himself. The flight was on board Blue Origin's prized rocket, the New Shepard, which is said to serve astronauts heading into the International Space Station soon. The July 20th flight took off from a private launch station near Van Horn, Texas, with the booster rockets lifting off the crew into the air until two minutes into the flight when the booster stage separated from the capsule. The capsule carrying the crew proceeded to the Carmen Line, which is about 100 kilometers and is known as the boundary of space. Going higher, the crew experienced four minutes of weightlessness, performed flips and somersaults that could only be achieved in the microgravity of space before the capsule began its descent and parachuted safely down into the Texas desert. Expensively marketing space tourism. Both men received their astronaut pins after making successful trips to space, and each making their mark in the billionaire space race. The achievements of both companies were great, and they did a lot to push the boundaries for more innovation in the aerospace industry. However, critics have dubbed the flights expensive marketing strategies for the rich and wealthy to purchase high-class tickets to what is fast becoming the space tourism industry. Seeing how not many people can afford a six-figure flight ticket, it makes many Many wonder if the flights were meant to serve only a small portion of the population. Each flight has been a move by both companies to promote the effective technology of their rockets, and whilst that isn't a bad thing, it has most people thinking the flights could have served better, much-needed causes. But it appears not all space flights will be an expensive five-minute joyride in microgravity. In the future, some space flights will actually be intended to promote and sponsor a good cause. This September, we'll see yet another billionaire-sponsored flight take to the scars, but this time it won't be just to promote technological innovations, but also to promote a good cause on the site. Inspiration4 Mission We present to you Inspiration4, a space mission by aerospace giant SpaceX and its record-breaking rocket Crew Dragon. Unlike Virgin Galactic's VSS Unity and Blue Origin's New Shepard rockets, the intended September flight for the Crew Dragon won't be the rocket's maiden crewed flight. The Crew Dragon has had two successful crewed flights ferrying astronauts to and from the International Space Station. It became the first commercial flight to do so and also broke 
broke the record for the longest spaceflight by a US rocket, surpassing the 84-day record set by the Apollo capsule in 1974. The purpose of the Inspiration missions is to create awareness for St. Jude's Children's Hospital and Research Center in Memphis, Tennessee. The mission aims to create funds for the hospital, which is known for treating children with cancer without ever collecting a bill. Through raffle draws and generous donations from the public, Inspiration 4 is set to raise $200 million for St. Jude's Hospital to help cancer research in an unprecedented way. In essence, Inspiration 4 will be the world's first all-civilian flight into space, and it's set to be financed by billionaire Jared Isaacman. Isaacman is the founder and CEO of the payment process company Shifts for Pay, and while that remains his major source of income, he also happens to be a seasoned pilot. Isaacman is no stranger to high-altitude flights, as he broke the world record for the fastest time circumnavigation of the globe in a light jet back in April of 2009. The successful attempt to set the world record was done in a bid to create awareness for a funding event for the Make-A-Wish Foundation in New Jersey. In addition to having a heart of gold, Isaacman also owns and personally runs one of the largest fleets of privately owned fighter jets in the world, which trains combat pilots for the United States Armed Forces. With his decade-long piloting career and his proficiency in breaking records for charitable causes, it's no surprise he will serve as commander for the Inspiration 4 mission. I appreciate the tremendous responsibility that comes with commanding this mission, and I want to use this historic moment to inspire humanity while helping to tackle childhood cancer here on Earth. The civilian team heading into space on the Crew Dragon has no shortage of spectacular people one of them being St. Jude employee and former patient Haley Arsenal. Haley is currently a physician assistant at the Children's Hospital, but was also once a patient there and is one of the major survival stories in the hospital's history. At just 10 years old, Haley was diagnosed with osteosarcoma, a form of bone cancer, and needed urgent treatment to stand a chance of beating it. Her parents turned to St. Jude's Hospital, where she underwent over a dozen rounds of chemotherapy a knee replacement surgery that required a titanium rod to be put in her right thigh, and months of physical therapy, all which were done for free. Evidently, Haley beat the cancer and is now an inspiring story to children battling any form of cancer around the world. Her experience inspired her to want to work with other children battling cancer at the very hospital that saved her life. Today, she works as an assistant, helping lymphoma and leukemia patients at the hospital. For obvious reasons, Haley was asked to join this momentous flight as chief medical officer, stating, When they asked me to go to space immediately, I said yes, visibly ecstatic at the idea of being one of the youngest persons to ever venture into space. The other two crew members include Chris Zimboski, an Iraq war veteran and current engineer at Lockheed Martin in Everett, Washington, and Professor Sean Proctor of the Geoscience Department at South Mountain Community College in Phoenix, Arizona. Following the assembly of the space team, crew members have been undergoing training, generously spearheaded by SpaceX to get the civilian team ready in all things space-related. The flight is scheduled to last for three days on a trip around the globe, where the team will be the first group of civilians to study the cosmos from outer space. The flight, which is scheduled to take place on the 18th of September, will launch from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida on the back of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket. The mission, albeit a momentous one in history, isn't centered around just promoting space tourism the way Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin did, but also has has a goal of generating funds to help fight cancer. The Inspiration 4 mission is historically relevant, but also noble in its charitable sense, and this space flight takes the number one spot in the billionaire space race in our books. There you have it, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next video.